Hey all, Rusty RV TV, welcome! We are leaving, I'm right here at 93 and uh, the road that goes up Dolan Springs, was it Pierce Ferry? We're gonna get back here on 93. I stopped and checked access to uh, two of the places up here that I want to check out. And uh, we'll see if we can get in. I think uh, one is called Willow Beach. It's along the Colorado River. Both of them are run by the government, the feds, national. And the other one is called Temple Bar. Or Basin, something like that. And that's right on Lake Mead. Anyway, hopefully one of the two we can get in. I don't think that Willow Beach is the good one. We're going to check them out anyway. Anyway, this is 93 North. Let's rock. And the winds are screaming. That's I, I almost didn't drive up here after we left Kingman when we were at that uh, Camp Beal area. I don't even know if I can fly the drone up here, but we'll see what we can get into. Heck, I'm already on the way, so why not? What else we got to do? <laughs> Hope everyone is safe during this pandemic. Look at all the gas stations here. They've really popped up long time ago, about 15 years ago, I drove through here and there was nothing. Absolutely nothing. Matter of fact, there's one up here that was always open. I think it was called like Last Stop or something like that. If it's open, we'll drive through it. Whoa, that guy's moving. Those mountains straight ahead, that's where that willow there's a big canyon up there. Hoover Dam, we're not that far from that either. You have Lake Mead off to the right, Colorado River off to the left, and then Hoover Dam would be straight. What's the sign say? Stay home. COVID. Everything. <laughs> Closed. Okay. More gas stations. A little cafe there. Here it is. Let's stop. I'll just do a drive. They always had the murals. Yep, still do. Let's drive around the building. I ain't gonna go in. I used to stop here once in a while. Back in the old days, before they put the bridge to bypass Hoover Dam, you used to drive across Hoover Dam and then come down this way. But look at all the murals. Heck, they're open here. Cool looking building, huh? Whoa, big old four-wheelers there. Look at them guys. They're going to go out and tear it up. Little runway. That's it. Last stop. <laughs> you can see how vast it is here. Look at that. This is just desert as far as you can see. Check out these four wheelers one more time. Cool. Got the gas tank there all decorated, all the flags. Looks like they're building another one across the street. You know, this is all turned into an interstate, so the gas stations are starting to build up. 
One day this will all be Interstate 11. Clear from Vegas all the way down past Phoenix, I think. Clear down to the, like, Tucson or whatever. All right, let's go check them out. Temple Bar, yeah. Now just pass. Okay, we're gonna pass this. Let's go up to that Willow Creek. Or Willow Beach, whatever it is up here. Should be just up in these mountains. come back to this one. Check it out. Look at the canyon. See how it all changes. We are not that far. We're just a few miles from Hoover Dam. Colorado River is way down on the left hand side. Look how it changed. Isn't that pretty? The sign, Willow Beach, one mile. Whoa, look at all the cars. Look at that, they're not letting them in. That boat's turning around. Closed. <laughs> Figures. I was kind of wondering, because when I checked the phone back at that gas station at Dolan Springs, it said temporary closed, but people are trying to get in. Look at this. Well, I'm not going to drive down. Let's go back to that uh, temple bar. Let's do that. I don't think there's social distancing there. <laughs> okay. Hey. What else we got to do today, huh? I'm driving. Alright, sit back. We'll go check out that temple bar. That's down at Lake Mead. should be right up here look how flat this is here I mean just flat as a pancake here's the road there goes a the boat they're all heading this way 
all the boaters. Okay, here we go. Road construction. Wow, 28 miles. Oh my goodness. It's 28 miles back to the here. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> All right. I'll film what I can. Well, we've already gone 10 miles. Here's the sign. Let's take a break a minute. Look at the winds. It is screaming here. Welcome to Lake Mead National Recreation Area. this all right well we still got another good 16 18 miles ago There's a lot of flat land here, so I'll turn the camera on when I see something good. We'll make it. Actually, this is all brand new road. It's just a rolling two-lane road all the way back in here. We still got a ways to go. All right. Looks like it's a fee. I have my uh, senior discount. They won't charge me. I got the senior lifetime senior card for all the national parks and areas monuments it's all closed off no fees there's mr. ranger cool all right well if you come out here there's no fees I guess right now I have no clue what they'd charge you get in the senior pass it's uh, I get I got was uh, lifetime I paid $80 and that gets me in all kinds of national parks, national monuments, clear across the country. Plus it gives you discounts and all the camping, parking, everything with all these parks. So if you're over 62, it's a good investment if you're out traveling, RVing. Finally, I see water. <laughs> Unless that's a mirage. It's a long ways back in here. My goodness. Lake Mead, check her out. You can still see where the w old water lines are. Ooh, storyboard. We'll catch that on the way out. I'll stop. Let's head down to the water. Right, there's our visitor center closed. 
Everything's closed because of the COVID pandemic. The park's not, just their facilities, it looks like. And what's this sign? Campground to the right. We'll check that out when we leave. I see a pretty good sized mobile home park. Look at all the mobile homes off to the right. Probably rent those there, huh? I imagine this is boater heaven. See what else they got? Big old parking lot on the left. Looks like a little store there on the left. Look at all the little, what are those? Cottages, I guess, huh? Like little cabins. I bet they're closed, no cars there. There goes a boat, look at that boat. Well, let's go over here first. What's it? This is like a motel here. Huh. Not a car in sight, so it must not be open. There's some gas pumps so you can get fuel. That's probably closed. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get parked, check it out a minute. Wow, look how far down that marina is. Whoa. Look at the water lines on the hillside. The winds are screaming here. I need to switch cameras. Check it out, motel. Look at that. Looks closed up. Probably because of the virus. Look at all the parking area. Look at this. This place is huge. Absolutely huge. Well, what do you say? We'll drive down there. Check it out. bet this place really fills up in the summer. I really never knew it was here until I looked on the maps before I came up. Those must be like little cabins. Look, they each got an air conditioner and a propane tank. So if you don't have an RV, you could just come up here and spend the weekend. Bet they get a lot of, you know, we're close to Vegas. We're not that far. What would Vegas be? 40 miles? So I bet a ton of people come out of Vegas. All right, let's head down. I bet a few years ago the water was way up in here.
Right there, that concrete, I bet, was the old launch. Kind of like South Cove when we were up South Cove a couple weeks ago. People were saying how far they extended the ramp. But also I was told Lake Mead's coming up, which is good. It was up like eight feet, something like that, at South Cove. That's a good thing. Well, I'm going to park in the back here. Maybe I can get a drone shot in a while. Let's take a walk first because the winds are just screaming. All right. Get parked. There is car after car coming in here. <laughs> About got run over. Check out the motorhome. He's got his slides out. Just enjoying the view. That would work, just coming down here and just chilling. Well, look at all the boaters on the boat ramp. Look at all these people, they're everywhere. I guess that's social distancing, huh? Look at them all waiting to get their boats in and out. I boated for years. I don't miss that at all. None of it. Well, we'll walk down to the water. Life of a boater. Just a big money pit. Worse than an RV. Circling out there trying to find a spot to get out of here. There's that marina. I'm not going to walk. I don't want to be around that many people. Look at all the people. They're on the beaches here. Well, they've been cooped up. All right, we'll walk all the way down. Well, I just talked to a nice park ranger lady. She told me uh, they got hookups up where those mobile homes are. There's RV hookups in between the mobile homes. The campground up there is all dry camping, which is open can camp here. The motels are closed for a while. She thinks till like June. And she goes, she's never seen so many people. She goes, this is like a holiday weekend. <laughs> Said normally there's only a hundred people out here because it's so far off the highway. Look at that. That's holding the dock. That's how low the water's got.
there you go guys there's Lake Mead hope you enjoyed it all right well, let's go up van I'm gonna take a break a little bit if I can if the wind calms down enough I'll try to launch a drone I don't know it is really blowing hard here brought a little lunch with me. I'm going to take a break for a little bit. A lot of driving. That's a long ways to get back in here. We go and it's not going to be like a minute. <laughs> I can't get up very high. I'm already getting wind warnings. There's a marina. Look at this. There's Temple Bar Basin Marina. Lake Mead. I can only do one pan. Go around. It's all desert. There's the motel. Look at the size of that parking lot. Look at that. Look at all the cars, the boats out there, parked trailers. Amazing. All right, I got to land. I can't do this. It is just gusting hard. All right, there's your quick drone shot. Yeah, that that was risky putting a drone up in there. All right, well, let's head up to that campground. We'll do a drive through that. And we'll head back. Yeah, this had to be their old launch right here. Look at all the concrete. When the water was high. the big ice building ice is priceless when you got a boat on the water you can't have enough ice or a 12 volt cooler <laughs> there's that mobile home park she goes that ranger lady said you can park RVs in between them they got a few sites with hookups Probably got to reserve them online, I'm sure. All right, let's go check out this campground. Here it is here. Temple Bar Campground. Yay! Wow, look at all the palms. They water here. Look at that. It's like a little jungle. <laughs> all brand new road. I'm not going to stop. Let's just drive through. Well, look at the camp. Look, they're kind of separated with all the bushes, the trees, dumpsters. Huh, there's a tenor. Look at that. 
little picnic table. This is really nice. Look at this. Because everything else is desert. They're not real big. You could easily park a van like I got here. Or I guess you could fit a rig in here. Trailers, fifth wheels. Pretty. I mean, look how it, it's kind of secluded. A lot of fragrance comes off those flowers too. Smells good. And you got a view of the water. Heck, I'd stay here. I didn't realize this was here. Nice. This might be one to come back to in the fall. There's a sewer dump and water, so you got it. It's all dry camp, no hookups. But if you want hookups, just go down where the mobile homes are. Alrighty, well, I'd say it's time to head back. Let's stop at that overlook. I'll get a shot of that storyboard. Maybe even, maybe we can launch a drone one more time <laughs> from up here. We'll see. Look at the winds. Ah. All right, let's try. Temple Basin, ton of history. Look at that. There it is. I would come back here and try to. I'd, I'm real impressed with that campground. Definitely. All right, for you guys, I'm gonna launch a drone one time. I doubt if we'll be up long. <laughs> Up we go. Wind warning. <laughs> All right. 60 feet. Now, let me spin it around real quick. There's the water. There's the desert. There's a the road our way out of here. And I gotta land. Sorry. Oh well, that gives you a pretty good idea what it is. Temple Bar Marina. Well, I would definitely come back. I don't know this time of year. These winds would get kind of old after a while. But I would definitely stay at that campground for sure. That was kind of cool, actually. All right. Well, go and go back. Hopefully, I can get it up in the mountains this coming week. We'll see what else we can get into. Once again, I hope everything's safe in your world journey continues here talk soon <laughs>